Hey there, it's Anthony from Maestro Music Centers in East Meadow, Long Island. And I'm on the Lowry Inspire again today. And uh, I mentioned the other day uh, using the kick switch functions, and we used it to do Vibratrem. But today I'm going to show you the difference between start-stop and auto start-stop. So again, to get to the kick switch screen, you press feature. I think you can see the screen. I had to zoom out from the other day. I'm sorry. I, it shrinks it to a video size, and I didn't know that. Um, I'm on page one. You have to scroll. Uh, it happens to be on page number nine. And uh, okay, foot switches. I touch that. And let's. I'm going to take the right foot switch, and we're going to use that. So it's right now. It's that on fill. I'm going to scroll, and we're going to put it on start stop first. I'm just going to use um, uh, setups and stuff, you know, automatically done. So I'm going to go into uh, traditional, and I'm going to pick the jazz guitar rhythm style, and I'm going to just let the instrument give me the setup for the song. So what happens is start stop. Let me go back to that screen where we had the feature foot switches. Start stop means that when you kick the foot switch, the rhythm will start or stop. But for those of you who are familiar with the Lowry instruments, um, the easy button, when that thing is on, it turns on three functions. Um, you can use one finger chords. You could play all if you want to, but it does one finger. Memory, which means it holds it. So you can, my joke is that you can sip your martini while you play, but it holds the chords. You can let go if you need to. And it plays the automatic bass line if you're not really good at playing the bass. So if I start my rhythm and it's on um, uh, sync because I've automatically picked the rhythm style, there's my rhythm. regular start stop. Now it's like using the easy button. Let's put a little bit more sound on in the lower, okay? Um, what do I want to put on down there? Uh, flute. So it's like I'm using the easy button now. going to kick it again, the rhythm will start up. Now I'm going to change the foot switch to the auto start stop. We kick it. The moment I touch a chord, it comes back on again. I didn't have to kick. Now if I wanted that last thing I just did to be a little bit more of a pause, Hit it, it'll stop it. It's like pause. The moment you rekey a chord, the rhythm will start up again. Start stop literally takes your rhythm style, stops it completely, but leaves on the easy button function so you could still keep playing chords um, and pedal with your song. And when you're ready for the drums and the, and the style, the band to come back on again, you kick it and it comes on and it activates. Um, in your song. It's an incredibly useful function if you want to do that. I love actually start-stop better than I like auto-start-stop. 
okay? But you don't have to keep reaching up and turning on uh, the button. Auto start stop really, you could, it's like hitting stop and then just playing again. But start stop, this one, is really kind of like stopping it all, turning off the rhythm, turning on the easy button, then going back and turning on the rhythm style. So it really, really saves a lot of steps and it's a really, really great function. So if, I hope that makes a little bit of sense for you and uh, try it this week. It's a lot of fun, okay? Thanks.